Hello, Mrs. Ross. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing, Mrs. Sampson? I am great, and I just thought I'd stop by and see how you've organized your classroom this year. Could you tell us about it? Please, move in. All right. You'll notice when you enter that the flow of traffic comes this way. So when we walk in, we'll walk this way around. And then we'll walk across the back of the classroom to find our spot. So if I'm sitting right here, then I'm going to walk this way. And then I'll be able to take a seat. And then when I'm ready to go, I'll stand up and walk this way. And the flow of traffic continues this way. Excellent. Yeah. Um, now for sanitizing our hands, we have two stations. There's one right here. So if I'm going to sanitize my hands here, I'm going to stand on this sticker here that says please stand here. And then if I'm using the station at the back, first I'm going to make sure that I'm going with the flow of the traffic. So I'll walk this way. And I will stand right here to sanitize my hands here. If I'm waiting, somebody's already here, then I'm going to wait on one of these tape spots. So I have three waiting spots here, and they're all a meter apart. Excellent. Now, just behind you, I'm noticing something on the countertop. What have you got there? Yeah, so this year, we are all going to have our own buckets. And inside your bucket is everything that you're going to need for the year. So all of your pencils, your pencil crayons, all of your books and your tools will be ready for you in your box. Your name will be on that, and it's all of your stuff in one place. Well, Mrs. Ross, I'm sure the boys in grade three and four are very excited to come and see you. So you keep getting ready for them and we'll see you really soon. Okay, well, we can't wait to see them next week. Bye-bye. Bye. And we'd like to welcome you to Ms. Housen's class. As you can see when you enter the door here, your flow of traffic will be to the right. Everybody has their desks that are socially distanced at one meter each. And at the front of the class, Ms. Housen has her personal space bubble. There are a few different hand sanitizing stations in this classroom. There's one at the front, and then there's also one at the back. Every child will have their own materials available in their buckets, which right now are just right there along the back. We look forward to seeing you really soon in Ms. Housen's class. Hello, Ms. Landry. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, Ms. Simpson? I'm great, thanks. I thought I'd just stop by and see how you've organized your class. Would you be able to take us for a little tour? Of course. Come on in. All right. All right. So when you enter the classroom, there's arrows to tell you which way to travel. So students are going to come in to the back. Uh, depending on where they're sitting, um, they will follow the pathways down to their desk. Uh, when they get to their desk, this is like their own personal little bubble, so all of their personal belongings will be here, they'll bring up their backpack and their coat. They will have a bin with everything that they need in here, so duotangs, uh, supplies like markers, pencils, and that's all going to be at their desk uh, to limit uh, as much movement in the classroom as possible while we're in here. Uh, when we need to sanitize our hands, we're going to get up, again, following the pathways of our class, and there's two hand sanitizing, hand sanitizing stations in the class. So one is right here, um, and there's stickers here that will tell students where to line up to sanitize their hands, and then there's another one at the back of the class. There's also tape on the floor um, to show students where to line up so that we're socially distanced when we're waiting to uh, sanitize our hands. When I'm not teaching, um, there's blue tape to indicate to students where my personal bubble is. Uh, that's two meters away, so this is um, my space when I'm up in teaching, and it still gives room for students to uh, line up if they need to and follow the pathways in the room uh, in order for us to all stay safe and social distance. Well, I'm sure the students are very excited to come and meet you. We're so thrilled that you've joined us at Kawartha Heights this year, and we'll see you really soon. Thanks. Thanks. Looking forward to meeting everyone. Welcome to Ms. Baker's class, everyone. When you arrive at her front door, you will see there's an arrow on the floor. We're going to follow that inside. It shows our flow of traffic. And here's how Ms. Baker has set up her class this year. Everyone has all the materials they need at their desk. Ms. Baker has her personal bubble space where she'll be teaching. And then there are two locations, one right here by the door and then one also in the back corner where you can sanitize your hands. 
All of your personal materials, your lunch, your coat, will be kept at your desk with you this year. And we won't be changing into outdoor shoes, so wear those comfortable shoes when you come to Miss Baker's class.